yo, 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 what's good, fam? The Fight Fan, this is Roy Judge, you trapped out boxing, man, back again with another video. Shout out to the LDBC, man. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, share the video always, and leave your thoughts and comments at the end of the video. And if you want that exclusive street news, go subscribe to Urban Media Fix. And every Wednesday night at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, the LDBC will be gathering on the Smoke City Mobcast. So make sure you subscribe to the Smoke City Mobcast. And don't miss that heat that we drop every Wednesday, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The LDBC will be getting together, and that's what we'll be, we'll be doing our live stream. All right, man. So you see it. We got the uh, Eubank versus Grove post-fight reaction. And I'm going to tell you my thoughts and what I think, what you know, went down in this fight. I caught, I caught it from the third round, so, I mean, I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything. I seen it was a, uh, some, some say it was a slippage or a knockdown or whatever. But, okay, but let's, let's get to it, though. So, from what I was seeing, you know, I'm going to be all the way honest with y'all, man. To me, Eubank, you know, you, you, people who follow my channel know that, you know, I'm, I'm a Eubank fan. I like Eubank. And, you know, I'm going to keep it all the way, you know, buck all the way down the line with it, man. But I think that Eubank, at best, I think Eubank is a C plus, B minus uh, level fighter. Uh, and I'm going to tell you why I say that, because, and, 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 and salute to George Grove. Shout out to George Grove. George Grove was right. Everything he said pretty much was, was true, you know. Um except for a few things, but he, he was he was pretty accurate on his assessment of uh Eubank. But um Eubank is the the C plus, you know, B minus fighter, and I'm gonna tell you because see Eubank he uh he doesn't he didn't he didn't you know control the range the distance you know he didn't close the distance effectively that much at all and uh he was doing a lot of amateur you know things like leaping the lunging in and getting off balance and you know things that i you know would think that he would correct you know he he did always fight like that but you know you would think that he would you know would correct those things and uh i'm gonna be all the way honest with you you know and it's just, just, just being, being real, you know, Eubank Jr. didn't really get better from the Billy Joe Saunders fight, in my opinion. He really didn't. Uh, you know, you could tell that times in the, it was a lot of times in the fight the way, you know, he, he got hit. That right hand he got hit with by Groves and that jab he was getting hit with every now and then. He didn't want to, you know, just take those chances like he was saying that he was going to take those chances and come in there and make it rough and tough for Groves because... You know, he wasn't uh, closing the distance effectively. He wasn't, you know, getting in there enough. He was waiting too long. And and when he would get inside and, and, and close the distance, he would just smother the hell out of his work. So, you know, his work wasn't really effective like that. You know what I'm saying? He was just doing too much smothering. And with another case, and like George Grove was saying, like, you know, uh, Eubank didn't have, he doesn't have a game plan. Uh... You know, he, he just he just comes in there and he, he don't have a he you can tell you he don't he didn't have a game plan. You know, he 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 don't, he's not real strategic with his with his with his boxing. You know, he doesn't you know, this fight right here can really, really show you that, you know, Eubank Junior is uh he's lacking a lot of boxing skills. He's very wild, he was making a lot of amateur mistakes, you know. And the thing is, is that, you know, George Groves could have, you know, he could have took more chances and probably got Eubank out of there. But Eubank was uh, was was uh, was wobbling him a little bit. So I'm not going to say that Eubank didn't put in no work. He was putting in work on him, but it just wasn't, you know, it wasn't effective uh, work like that. You know, he'd get some shots in there and there, but it wasn't like clean shots that had good leverage on it, you know, it was all like just, you know, wild shots, you know, uh, nip and tuck type shots, you know, he, he wouldn't really just land all the way flush all the time, but, um, 
And a lot of those shots he was landing would he'd be off balance while he would land those shots. But you know, uh this is this seems to me like another case, no disrespect to the Porters, but this seems to me like another case like Sean and Kenny Porter with Eubank Jr. and Eubank Senior, uh little chemistry they got going on. I would see times to where, you know, Eubank Jr. would, would tackle uh, he would tackle George Groves. You know, like he was playing football. I was like, damn, this damn looking like Sean Porter out here. You know, but uh if if and the thing about you Eubank, Eubank is not physically strong enough for his game stat for his his fighting style, for him to implement his, his fighting style effectively enough. He's not physically strong enough. To implement that 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 style on on the, especially a bigger guy like Groves, you know, uh, if he would have had a little bit more physicality, he could have got Groves out of there. He could he could have got Groves out of there. But Groves, I seen at the uh, the twelfth round that Groves had his his sh his shoulder popped out of place, and I was like, damn, I was kind of cringing for him because I seen it when it popped out. He was moving all weird and shit. I was like, dog, man, but. Uh, I had Groves winning this fight, man. I really did. I had Groves winning this fight. You know, I was going for Eubank. I had Eubank winning the whole tournament, but you know, hey, I'm wrong. And uh, you know, shout out to Eubank for showing good sportsmanship after the fight, man. You know, he lost fair and square. He knew he lost. Uh, you know, he he just got Eubank got a lot of work to do, man. Eubank Jr. got a lot of work to do. He he's. He 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 got a lot of work to do, man. Uh, I'm still, you know, you know, I still ride with Eubank, period. But uh, he got a lot of work to do, man. I like to see him bounce back, get better, you know. Uh, correct a lot of mistakes. He got a lot of mistakes. He got to correct, man. I'm just being honest with you. But Groves, Groves could have got Eubank. He could have knocked him. It seemed like he had him almost out of there. Well, at least on the canvas, you know, a couple of times he could have. But Groves didn't. He didn't. He didn't go in to take the chance like how he was supposed to, you know. He he was he was letting Eubank off the hook, you know, uh, a lot of times too when he would catch him and hurt him. He would let him off the hook. But uh, other than that though, man, you know, it was a decent fight. It was alright, you know. It just wasn't no, it wasn't no damn barn burner, you know, like I expected it to be. But you know, you 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 ain't got to learn how to, you know. Getting there with some uh, effective. He gonna have to quit smothering his work, man. He was just smothering the shit out of his work, you know. Uh, to me, I, I think he need to leave Eubank Junior, man, a senior, man. I think he needed to find him a real trainer. But then again, I don't know who who's gonna put up with it if it's too late right now. But in my opinion, like I said, it's like another Sean Porter and Kenny Porter situation. I think Eubank Jr. needs to leave his leave his father, man. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I couldn't really hear what he was saying in the corner, but his game plan, whatever he was, it didn't matter. What I'm saying is that Jr. looked as amateurish out there a lot to to me. He looked the amateurish, so just my opinion. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all seen, man. You know, that's what I seen. This is your boy JB Trap House Boxing.